Well, today marks the official federal holiday observing Juneteenth, commemorating the end of slavery, and the day in 1865 when a Union Army general rode into Galveston, Texas to inform enslaved African Americans they were free, more than two months after the Civil War ended. It's been celebrated by black Americans for years, but it wasn't until the momentum of the Black Lives Matter movement that Juneteenth gained the national spotlight. And last year, after a decades-long fight by activists, Congress recognized the landmark date as a federal holiday. New Jersey is one of more than a dozen states to take it a step further, observing Juneteenth as a state holiday as well. At an event in Newark, federal and local leaders marked the historic moment by renaming Washington Park to Harriet Tubman Square, honoring the heroic abolitionist and Underground Railroad leader who's believed to have made Newark an important stop for enslaved African Americans fleeing the South. Officials noted the challenges and inequities that persist in the black community all these years later. There were a lot of people hoping we wouldn't do this today you know, fighting with us not to do this. People still talking about how we don't need to do this, you know, badgering us about honoring our ancestors. We have to tell the story of George Washington, then damn it, we ought to tell the story of Harriet Tubman because they exist together. The park renaming followed calls for racial justice and the removal of a Christopher Columbus statue by the city in 2020. But it also launches an arts and education district in the city, which will include galleries, restaurants, and other cultural centers, a permanent reminder of the contributions and sacrifices made by black Americans. It is critical that this holiday is recognized not as a day off, uh, but as a call to action, a reminder of what is at stake when we do not live the values we hold dear as Americans. The new Harriet Tubman statue will be unveiled in the fall.